Hey everybody, this video is called Priesthood Divisions, and tonight we continue our pass-through study here in the book of 1 Chronicles, where we're going to be looking at the sections and divisions of the 24 uh, divisions of the priesthood. So chapter 24, as we're moving toward the finish line for the first part of Chronicles, chapter 24, verse 1, it starts out like this. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. Therefore, Eleazar and Ithamar ministered as priests. Then David with Zadok of the sons of Eleazar and Ahimelech of the sons of Ithamar divided them according to the schedule of their service. There were more leaders found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Ithamar, and thus they were divided. Among the sons of Eleazar were sixteen heads of their father's houses, and eight heads of their father's houses among the sons of Ithamar. Thus they were divided by lot, one group as another, for there were officials of the sanctuary and officials of the house of God from the sons of Eleazar and from the sons of Ithamar. And the scribe Shemaiah, the son of Nathaniel, one of the Levites, wrote them down before the king. The leaders, Zadok the priest, Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, and the heads of the father's houses of the priests and Levites. One father's house was taken for Eleazar, and one for Ithamar. So... Hopefully these people can forgive me for mispronouncing their names later on if they're in heaven with us. But as mentioned, the chronicler, he focuses on the priests today. And we talked about Nadab and Abihu back in the book of Leviticus chapter 10 in their disgrace and demise. Feel free to check out that video. I can send it to you. And the line of the high priest would be through Eleazar's offspring in accord with the priestly covenant made by God with Fahinas back in Numbers chapter 25 verse 11 through 13. And we talked about Zadok back in chapter 6. And Ahimelech, he was the son of Abiathar, whom Solomon released from his duties for siding with Adonijah back in 1 Kings 1 verse 2. And the grandson of Ahimelech, who was a priest killed by Saul back in 1 Samuel 22, verse 11 through 18. In 2 Samuel 8, 17, it confirms that Zadok and Ahimelech highly priest combination. And one at Jerusalem where the ark was kept, and the other at Gibeon serving the tabernacle. In the priesthood duties, they were divided up in David's day into 24 divisions, 16 of those were of Eleazar and eighth of Ithamar. And Eleazar's family had twice as many as he received the birthright since his older brothers were killed. And he also had more descendants and they had leadership ability. And these divisions each served for either a two week period annually or more likely a one month period every two years. And these divisions will appear again in the book of Nehemiah chapter 10 verses 2 through 8. In chapter 12, which Lord willing, we're going to be studying right around the fall time in October, uh, October-ish, I'll say. And divided the lot in verse 5. It was the ancient method of discerning God's will used to sort out all the duties here. And so that would cause for, that would cause for pride or jealousy was mitigated. And today we don't have to cast lots. So, you know, when you think of casting lots, you can think of like rolling dice and whatever the outcome is, is what God's will is. We don't need that today because we have the Holy Spirit with us. In uh, verse 7 through 19, says, Now first lot fell to Jehoiarib the second to Zedeah, the third to Haram, the fourth to Serorim, the fifth to Malchijah, the sixth to Majimin, the seventh to Hakoz, 
the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, uh, Shechaniah, Shechaniah, however you say that one, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jacob, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Jeshabiah, uh, Jesh, Ab, 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 Ab. we're going to keep going here, the fifteenth to Bilgah, the sixteenth to Emmer, the seventeenth to Hazer, the eighteenth to Happy Zez, the nineteenth to Pethahiah, the twentieth to Zehekiel, uh, the twenty first to Jashin, the twenty second to Gimu, the twenty third to Delilah, the twenty fourth to Maziah. This was the schedule of their service for coming into the house of the Lord according to their ordinance by the hand of Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. So verses 7 through 18, it's another part of the Bible where if you're having a, a baby to come and you want to have a unique name, start going through the uh, the the chron, you know the chronicles or the uh, genealogies of the Old Testament here. But the chronicler, he divides the law here into 24 sections. And I want to point out again verse 10 where it says, The seventh to Hakoz, the eighth to Abijah. So Abijah was of the division of Zacharias, John the Baptist's father, is listed. And David knew because there were so many of descendants of Aaron uh, by this time, that the priest should be divided so they could be fairly or assigned privileged service in the temple. In verse uh, 20 through 30, to wrap up, uh, actually 20 through 30 here, says, And the rest of the sons of Levi, of the sons of Amram, Shebeo, of the sons of Shubeo, Zedeah, concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, was the first. Ishaiha of the Isharites, Shalomoth, the sons of Shalomoth, Jehath of the sons of Hebron, Jeriah was the first, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, and Zechemiah the fourth of the sons of Uzziel, Mitchka of the sons of Mitchka, Shemer the brother of Mitchka. Ishiah of the sons of Ishiah, Zechariah. The sons of Merari were Mali and Mushi, the son of Zeziah and Beno. The sons of Merari by Zeziah were Beno, Shoham, Zachar, and Ibri. Of Mali, Eleazar, who had no sons. Of Kish, the son of Kish, Jeremiah. Also, the sons of Mushi were Mali, Eder, and Jeremoth. These were the sons of the Levites, according to their father's houses. So the chronicler here is given a remaining list of the sons of Levi. And they were the descendants of Kohat's son, Amram, who weren't of the family of Moses and Aaron, as seen back in Exodus chapter 6, verse 18 through 27. And finally, to wrap up the verse here, in 31, it says, These also cast lots, just as their brothers, the sons of Aaron, did in the presence of King David. Zadok, Ahimelech, and the heads of the fathers' houses of the priests and Levites, the chief fathers, did just as their younger brethren. So the other descendants of the family of Kohath were divided according to their schedule of service, along with the same pattern as the priests. And this is what this was how their lots were chosen. And so to have a quick wrap up here, today we look at the chronicler given the 24 divisions of the priesthood. And temple worship was carefully structured, and it was without hindering the Holy Spirit or true worship. And I want to look at 1 Corinthians 14, verse 40, as the church today should be 
a structured worship without um without you know chaos and without hindering the holy spirit and first corinthians 14 40 says let all things be done decently and in order and god is all about order and worship and these 24 divisions extended into the time of christ we find back in luke chapter 1 verse 5 Luke 1, 5 through 9. It says, There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they both were righteous before God, walking in the commandments and the ordinances of the Lord blameless. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was while that they were serving as priests before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell and burned incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. So we see in the days of Herod was the priest Zacharias chosen by lot to enter the temple of the Lord for service. In Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1 verse 26. says here, And they cast their lots, and the lot fell on Matthias. And he was numbered with the eleven apostles. So lots were even used in the early church. We see the lots being used when Judas was gone and they had to appoint another apostle and Matthias was chosen through the lot. And so we see that the chronicler gives the remaining sons of Levi and how their lots were chosen. And that's going to wrap up for tonight. And we'll see you again on Saturday. There will be no topical Saturday once again as we're going to continue in chapter 25 looking at the musicians and we're going to talk some on worship so i hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll see you this weekend god bless